Right, so we're here at the Nellis Awards and it's so, 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 so great to see, should I should say, veteran actor Steve Ebo. I mean, I've grown up watching him and today I have the privilege to actually talk to him here on the red carpet for the Nellis Award. Hi and hello again. Good evening. I welcome to Nellis. Thank you so much. Is this your first time here or you come all the time? I come all the time, but this is my first time for Nellis. Welcome then. Thank you very much. Now, we've seen you do movies way back. Um, but um, let me ask first of all, what's up with you? What's going on with you? Well, be doing movies all my life. But I started doing movies when I was in my 20s. Now I'm in my 50s, I'm still doing movies. So presently, I'm still doing movies. That's just the thing. I know that you used to play the role of, you know, that village chief with the, chief with the hat, colored ones. <laughs> I don't know, but um, what inspires you in terms of doing movies? Uh, my parts or what? What inspires you? Okay, you know, one thing that inspires me is the storyline. I need to know what is, once I get to go through the story, and I have to put myself in the distance that I, I do things that is real. And what inspires me is, what will I be remembered for? When I, when I know that when I'm on set, when I'm before the camera and the, the kids watching will one day want to be like me, it inspires me a lot to do good. So my inspiration is based on the storyline and what it teaches. Now, considering the fact that you started movies back then, now you're 50. When you look back then and now, what do you make of the movie industry in general? Movie industry in general, is, only let me say, well, let me be very particular about Nollywood. Yes. Nollywood then was a little bit uh, cumbersome because then we didn't have GSM phones, we didn't have WhatsApp group, we didn't have internet, we didn't have anything to communicate with. We didn't have the kind of sophisticated technology we have today. But we had the best of uh, scripts. The storylines were so good. The actors were passionate. It wasn't because of the money. It was the passion we had for the industry, the love we had for the industry that was driving us. You understand the point? So then it was like a family, passion, love, and motivation. Not financial motivation. But now it's more of technology and financial motivation. So the difference between now, between then and now is then we had it good, acting, storylines. But production-wise, we have it better now because technology have improved. So we try to get the best of technology now, unlike before, when it was not like me. But I still prefer the olden days scripts. Because we were really telling the story, African stories. We are telling the African story. That is what the most important thing there was, telling our own story by ourselves. But today, we allow technology to help us tell our stories. So that is just the difference. Now, there's this perception that now, even both in Ghana and Nigeria, when it comes to the movies, we focus more on our, our looks, not even our culture. What do you make of it? That's the problem we have. And for some time, I've not been into, I've not been doing much movies because I can't imagine the Nigerian or the Ghana, Ghana films coming up with a lot of makeup. You see, a, we should celebrate our beauty. Celebrate our culture, celebrate our beauties, our architectural beauties, and our, our structure. But today we celebrate more of the white man's structure, more of the white man's color. Everybody wants to be fair. So the makeup takes a lot of time. And I don't have this special waiting for an actress to make up for one hour. And I'm waiting for what? To do one or two scenes. So today we concentrate more on the looks. The guests want to be so pretty that when you see them on ordinary day, you won't even recognize them. So it's, 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 it's very funny. But then, your makeup time should be two, three minutes. You have to just rub the powder, dab the face, and then we are, we are on set. Today, actors, are, we now we, are, we concentrate on makeup, then we cram our lines. We cram them. But then, and we, don't forget that we want to speak like the white man. But then, we just want to be, I want to be myself. This is Steve Abel. I'm acting an African film. I want to be an Africa and I go Africa. Unlike today. 
So today I want to be, I'm Steve Abel, but I just have to be like Adam Schwarzenegger. I have to be America, I have to be this, I have to rub up the powders, I have to make sure that I'm fine. No, it's affecting the African storyline. It's affecting the African culture. It's affecting the African love. You know, Africans are the highest sustainer of human race. But with what we are learning from films these days, it's just we are more we are so self-centered it's all about me how will you just look at me in fact that is the fault of technology instagram uh, whatsapp and all these things are you on instagram facebook or twitter no for now why is there any reason because then you have to promote no, your work I'm, 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 I'm on instagram but it's not too functional because i don't have much time for that but i have my managers now who are trying to build it up Oh, you understand? I'm basically because people want my work out. So the kind of job I do this day, the kind of work I do this day is quite different from the normal acting. No, you must marry my daughter. The rich man must do this. I don't listen. No, 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 no. I do separate jobs. This that's why I've not been all over the places. But these days, I have to say, I have to tell stories that touches the heart, stories that identify with human race. I did a film on sickle cell. I had one on breast cancer. I have one on the real African slave trade. I just finished one on an advocacy film for Nigerian army. That's why today the Nigerian army is going to receive an award here yeah? because they really supported me. And in fact, it's one of the best movies when it comes to action films in Nollywood today. So this is the, these are the things we do. I want to be remembered with my work. My work today is my signature. You understand? So I have to be remembered with me. If tomorrow they say, ah, where is that Steve? That red cap chief. No, it's no more the red cap chief. It's not trying to identify a way that tomorrow I'll be remembered through my movies. I know you also watch Ghanaian movies. You know quite a few of our actors. Do you have any favorite? Uh, Jackie used to be my favorite because she has this emotional uh, attachment to her scripts. She don't have to bring the emotions out of you. She and she's uh, then, 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 then. She very humble, very humble. And you know, whatever you do in life without humility, you don't go anywhere. Jackie was too good, but then there was no so much technology in film industry. But today, I don't know how far she's gone. But I, when you watch her, act, she's too real. Mojid is one of the best actors in Africa. Give it to Mojid. She, one of the best actors I've seen in Africa is Mojid. He's so good, so uh, he's so passionate. He's a, he's a professional, so disciplined. He's a man of God now. Oh, that is it. Everybody, I'm a man of God too. Everybody, are you not a woman of God? <laughs> I am. <laughs> so I think it's about your relationship with God. That makes you, when you are close to God, you know. But you don't. He's a pastor actually, and so it doesn't make me that he's not a pastor. I'm, not, I'm a man of God too, but I'm not a pastor. But he's a wonderful actor. He's a wonderful you have plans actor. Plans of working with him. Well, yes, yes, yes. In fact, I, I work with every person. It depends if the time comes. The right script for the right person. I can work with any person. I can even work with the devil. Yes. Like the last one I did, I have a Ghanaian actor that is based in Nigeria, uh, Eddie Watson. Yeah, he was in my film too. And he's here to date. Yeah, let him say today. Well, anyway, enjoy your evening. And we are looking forward that man, maybe someday you come to Ghana. Oh, sure, sure. Come and visit us or maybe do a production. I visited Ghana in my life just once. I came for an award tonight. I left the following day. But, in fact, I've not been to so many African countries. And I told my wife, look, this time around, I'm not going to Canada. I'm not going to anywhere. I'm going to visit some African countries. So I'm looking forward to visit Ghana, to visit Rwanda, and Sierra Leone. These are the three countries I love. So, and then the Gambia, I love this country so much. But Rwanda is an upcoming, is erupting. It's an upcoming economic uh, destination of Africa. And we have to watch them closely and follow them up. So I need to visit Rwanda. It's a beautiful place to go to. Okay. Mr. Steve, thank you so much. Enjoy your evening. We are looking forward to the best of tonight. Thank you very much. God bless you.